In today's video, I'm going to synthesize some dimadon, which is a simple cyclic diketone compound. The reason for making this compound is because it involves some intriguing synthesis strategies. Additionally, I'm planning to make some metal complexes with dimadon. Before we start the project, let's look at the retrosynthesis. The dimadon can be generated by decarboxylation, and this can be generated by mixed clayton like condensation to open the ring. Then, we notice the 1 4 relation between the diester group and ketone. So, we use the micro addition to disconnect this. And these are the starting materials the acetyl oxide and diethylmethylate. In terms of chemicals, there are diethylmethylate, the acetyl oxide, metallic sodium, anhydrous methanol, sodium chloride, hydrochloric acid, and acetone. I prepared both diethylmethylate and acetyl oxide in previous videos. The first step is microaddition. So we first prepare some sodium mixed oxide. I place 2.3 grams or 0.1 moles of sodium into roughly 60 milliliters of anhydrous methanol. Because this reaction produces massive amount of heat, which causes the solution to boil, I attach a condenser to control the system. Once the reaction ceased, all the sodium has dissolved. I pipette 17 grams of diethylmethanate into the reaction flask and agitate it for 2 minutes. Then 10 grams of methyl oxide is added, and the reaction flask is refluxed for 1 hour. During this period, a lot of reaction is taking place. First, diethylmethanate is deprotonated to form an anion. This anion performs microaddition to methyl oxide by conjugated addition followed by intermolecular aldo condensation to generate the ester product. After one hour, the solution is put into a water bath to evaporate all the methanol. Once all the methanol is evaporated, the product forms a yellow cake inside the rum button flask. I instantly destroy this yellow cake by pouring in 100 ml of 3 mole sodium hydroxide solution. Next, Reflux the solution for 2 hours to hydrolyze all the intermediate ester. This step is followed by acidification, simply adding concentrated hydrochloric acid until pH reaches 1. I turned on the heating to boil the solution for 15 minutes. As video shows, some bubbles are rising from the solution. These bubbles are actually carbon dioxide bubbles, indicating the decarboxylation reaction is occurring to yield our final product, dimadol. Now, we need to separate the dimadol from a reaction mixture. I perform a half filtration to reduce impurities. After that, I cool down the solution to room temperature, then cool it down further with an ice bath, which yields some yellow crystals. As saying goes, yellow chemistry is bad, so I need to do a recrystallization. I dissolve all the crystal in a half 50 50 acetal water mixture. Next, I cool it down with an ice bath. Finally, vacuum filtered it to get diamond crystals. The final eel is 9.4 grams or 68%. The eel matches the literature. I am planning to make some transition metal complex with it in the future. And this is the end of the video. And here is a good place to end the video.